Hey you guys, it's Miss Louie Rich and I'm coming to you guys with a nice summer look, my everyday summer sleigh. If you want to get this look and know how I did it, stay tuned. Okay, to start off this look, I'm using my Vaseline to moisturize my lips and I also use lotion to moisturize my face before applying any products to the skin. Now I'm going to go in with my NK eyeliner in shade brown. I got this from my local hair supply store for one dollar. I like it because it applies smoothly and it's very pigmented and not only that, it's a dollar so hey, why not? So I start at the bottom lash line and the top and I just fill it in and I just stroke it very lightly. I don't use a heavy hand when applying this because of how dark it is. And here you go, finished results. Now I'm going to clean that up with my CNC uh, brand of concealer in Warm Honey. I usually use the shade Fawn in LA Girl Pro, but I ran out, so this is a duplicate. I'm going to apply this to the back of my hands because it's easy to apply, not so messy with this flat top brush. Now I'm going to take my time applying this, you guys, because it can get extremely messy and we all know how long it takes us to do our brows, so take your time. Now I'm just going to apply some of this product onto my eyelids. Um, I like to do this to kind of set a primer for my foundation, I'm sorry, my eyeshadow. <laughs> I set a primer for my eyeshadow um, with this concealer because I do not have an eyeshadow primer, but this works just as well. Now I'm going to go back in with that concealer to conceal my eyes to hide all of my flaws. I do this before I apply my foundation. Why? Well because it helps me prevent from using two coats of foundation in the summertime. Now I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation. Fit Me in shade 330 Toffee. It's a matte foundation and it's super amazing. I get so many compliments every day, you guys, I promise. So now I'm just gonna blend that in with my Beauty Blender again. And I blend it in very, very well until I see no creases, until it blends into my skin perfect. Now, you guys, I'm gonna go back in with my C&C brand concealer in Warm Honey. I do this to highlight my face in the areas I am going to bake. Now I use this for the summertime because it looks very natural with the skin. I do not use my yellow tone concealer in the summer, only because it doesn't look so natural. So I like this uh, technique very much. You can follow it if you like. Now I'm just gonna blend that in very lightly. I'm using a light hand, not a heavy hand. And now I'm gonna set it with my favorite Maybelline setting powder in shade light. And as you can see, I use a very generous amount, but like I said, it's my favorite setting powder. Now I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals foundation powder in the shade Cardamom to set the concealer on my eyelids and also use it as a base before I apply my eyeshadow. Now with my Renaissance palette, I'm gonna go in with the shade Real Gar to give my eyes a warm, orangey undertone. This is like a cool summer look. Now I'm going to use the shade Primavera to highlight the water lines and the lids of my eyes. Now applying my Feathered Fox Minx eyelashes. I get this from my favorite store, Duane Reeves, as some of you may know. And I use a light hand when doing this and I like to apply it with my fingers. I tried tweezers, it doesn't work for me, so my fingers are as easy as anything else. Now going in with my Sephora brand Voluminous excuse me, uh, mascara, I'm using this 
to blend my eyelashes into my natural lashes and also give them a pop. And I'm just going to brush away that setting powder. Now going in with my Bare Minerals powder, I'm just using this to warm up my face so I don't look so ghostly after the setting powder. And I'm just going to apply this all over the face. Now going in with the NW45 Studio Fix Foundation, um, I'm going to apply this to my hairline, you guys. This is my secret tip. I use this to go around the baby hairs without messing up all my hard work with my baby hairs using a bigger brush. This is a better technique because the brush is much smaller. Now going in with that same brush, I'm going to contour my nose with the powder. Yes, I usually contour my nose with the powder instead of the concealer because it's less messier and it sets better. I'm going to use that same brush to apply for my contour and my cheeks to kind of give my cheekbones a pop and I will use that underneath the chin as well. Now I'm going to use my handy dandy bath towel to wipe away my lips, take all the residue away and I'm going to use my chapstick. It looks kind of scary inside you guys but I'm going to use that to set a base before applying my lipstick or lip gloss. Now I'm going to use that same eyeliner to line up my lips and I'm going to apply this lip gloss I got from Forever 21 for about $2. You guys, that's my final look. I hope you guys like it. Um, this is my favorite go-to everyday look, except for Sundays. And um, if you like it, any comments, concerns, please leave them below. And I'll see you next time. Adios.